The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quickly as possible. They've been protecting this ship with their most advanced technology. So it's safe to assume whatever they've gotten there is crucial to their invasion effort. We should expect heavy resistance. They're not going to make this easy on us. Moving. If the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Or very dangerous. Device. It seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. I'm on the move. Contact. This is unlike anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Killing it with fire. X-ray neutralized. No longer a threat. Another day, another successful operation. Recovered from a cloaked ship, and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We track the alien craft to a landing site.
This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. This looks to be a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. Objectives completed. This specimen appears to be at the top of the alien hierarchy, and for good reason. As you've probably seen, its physical form is not suited for combat by any means. However, these elders have an incredible pool of psionic energy at their disposal, which helps to explain why the other species are subordinate to them. This heavily armored unit is fully mechanized, though we're still not sure if it has an organic component within. As if the standard muton hadn't given us enough trouble, the aliens apparently kept several of these elites in waiting for the later stages of their invasion.